Hey Ravens, welcome to this week's edition of Game Day Northwest. I'm Victoria Scardizio. This week's sports consist of soccer, football, volleyball, gymnastics, and cross country. Last night, the Ravens soccer team competed against Blue Valley High School. Let's take it to Matt Vanderslice and Zach Clay for the story. Last night, the Ravens took on the Tigers of Blue Valley to begin the regional tournament. After a goal by Chase Kluzman to open up the game, senior Connor Joker scored off a great pass from Wyatt Fowler just eight minutes into the first half, giving the Ravens a 2-0 lead. Jokers was able to get on the board again off a cross from Grant Gertz in 23 minutes into the first half, extending the lead to 3-0. A goal by Wyatt Fowler gave the Ravens a 4-0 lead going into the halftime. The Ravens came out strong in the second half, with Evan Kalapek scoring a goal in the 45th minute, increasing the score to 5-0. The Ravens were able to hold off the Tigers, finishing out the game with the 5-0 score. We were able to catch up with senior Jack Cashman about how it felt to make it past the first round of regionals. You know, it felt pretty good. I mean, it was a game we needed to win to get some confidence. We just got to take it one game at a time and look forward to getting that state qualification. The Ravens will play again tomorrow night against the Shawnee Mission West Vikings. For Matt Vanderslice, this has been Zach Clay. Now back to the desk. Last Friday, the Ravens football team competed against Shawnee Mission South. Cooper Kate and Will Vestal have the story. Senior night took place at Olathe Northwest this past week as the Ravens took on the Shawnee Mission South Raiders. The Ravens played astounding throughout the game, leading to a blowout win on Northwest favor. The defense led this game, which caused Shawnee Mission South to go scoreless throughout the duel. Junior Joe Hatsfield led the team with two touchdowns. Easton Krupper had a nice performance, including a touchdown pass to Matt Vanderslice that added another seven to the board. The Ravens destroyed the Raiders, the final score being 34-0. The Ravens will play in their third playoff game ever against Gardner this Friday, so be sure to come out and support your Ravens. This has been Cooper Kate and Will Vestal. Now back to the desk. Great job on the win, Ravens. Make sure to come out and support the boys this Friday as they compete against Gardner Edgerton in their third playoffs. The girls' volleyball team took on Shawnee Mission North and Olathe South, competing for their fourth sub-state title in a row. Catherine Farewell has the recap. The Olathe Northwest volleyball team took the court on Saturday, October 22nd, looking to become sub-state champions for the fourth year in a row. The Ravens, the second-ranked team in the state, took on the Shawnee Mission North Indians. The Ravens annihilated the Indians, winning the first set 25-6 and the second set 25-11. The volleyball team then got a break. They then took on Olathe South. South was coming off a hot win against Gardner Edgerton. That didn't matter to the Ravens. The Ravens went on a falcon hunt, winning the first set 25 to 15 and the second set 25 to 13. The Latham Northwest Raven volleyball team are now sub-state champions for the fourth year in a row. For Game Day Northwest, this is Catherine Farewell. The girls volleyball team will travel to Topeka this Friday to take on Wichita Northwest at 8.30, Manhattan at 10.30, and Garden City at 1.30. Come support the girls this Friday as they try to win the state champions. Last Saturday, the Ravens gymnastics team took on state at Shawnee Mission South. Sydney Weeks and Gabby Thomas have the recap. This Saturday, the Ravens gymnastics team took the floor one more time at state held at Shawnee Mission South. The girls had to place in the top five at their previous meet in order to compete. Maddie Fentiman competed on vault, bars, and beam. Haley Warden on bars, and Brooke Illum competed all around. Placing 3rd on bars and 10th on beam, Brooke earned an 8.6 on both events. She also received a remarkable 8-8 on floor, taking her to 12th place. Haley Warden, a sophomore, secured 18th place on bars with a 7.875. Junior Maddie Fentiman scored an 8.35 on vault and a 7.6 on bars. Congrats on a great season, Ravens. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Sydney Weeks and Gabby Thomas. Now, back to the desk. Congrats on a great season, ladies. Last Saturday, the cross-country team went to Johnson County Community College to compete in regionals. Ben Whitney has the story. The Ravens boys and girls cross-country teams traveled to Johnson County Community College last Saturday for regionals. The Raven girls placed third at the meet, qualifying them for state competition, and Trey Seba placed seventh individually, qualifying him for state as well. The state competitors will face off this Saturday at 9 a.m. at Rimrock Farm in Lawrence. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Ben Whitney. Now, back to you guys. Great job at regionals. The girls' team placed third overall with Trey Seba placing seventh and will compete at Rimrock Farm for state this Saturday. Come out at 9 o'clock to support your Ravens. That's it for this week, Ravens. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Victoria Scarduzio. Now back to the desk.